ஹலோ டெக்கிஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு பவர் அவுட் மை டெஸ்க்டாப் டுட்டோரியல்ஸ் இன் அவர் ப்ரீவியஸ் டுட்டோரியல்ஸ் வி ஹேவ் லேர்ன் ஹவு டு ஒர்க் வித் வெப் ரிகார்டர் ஆஸ் பார்ட் ஆஃப் தி பவர் அவுட் மை டெஸ்க்டாப் ஆஸ் வி நோ ரிகார்டிங் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி பெஸ்ட் ஃபீச்சர் இன் பவர் அவுட் மை டெஸ்க்டாப் விச் இஸ் விச் வில் எனேபிள் டு கேப்சர் யூசர் ஆக்ஷன்ஸ் ஆன் தி ஸ்கிரீன் தேர் ஆர் டூ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரிகார்டர்ஸ் அவைலபிள் இன் பவர் அவுட் மை டெஸ்க்டாப் டு கிரியேட் தி ஃப்ளோஸ் ஒன் இஸ் வெப் ரிகார்டர் another one desktop recorder in our previous sessions we have seen how to work with web recorder now in this tutorial we will learn how to work with desktop recorder to record sequence of actions for the windows application now if you see over here i am having power automation desktop registration form which is related to the desktop application you can see employee name email id gender departments address contact number job location and other fields that we have right this is a kind of data entry kind of job where you need to do the repetitive tasks right at that time what you can do you can record the sequence of steps and then you can replay and use reuse them as many times as the user wants i will simply show you an example over here i'm just going to give employee name and after that employee number gender departments and address and after that i'm going to give the contact number job location and designation and finally we'll give the email id once we have filled the data we will click on submit then we'll get a pop up window saying that thank you for the registration of the particular employee all right the same sequence of steps we can do that by using desktop recorder by capturing the ui elements on the sequence of steps by using desktop recorder or there also we will use the same kind of form filling actions but it will be automatically taking care what that what kind of steps sequence of steps we are going to do in the particular application all right now for the desktop recording there are two ways from here we can do the desktop recorder as well as we can go for the tools and then from there also we can use desktop recorder let's click on the desktop recorder once you click on the desktop recorder you will get a pop up over here in a such a way like desktop recorder and from there onwards you need to start recording click on start recording now what are the actions you will do that that will be enabled in the recording actions if you see over here i have clicked on the window that is the particular window that is power automate registration and after that i'm going to give the employee name over here as amir and after that i'm going to give employee number and you can see on my left hand side all the elements click element popular text field popular text field in the particular window all these things it is going to be captured now if you see i'm going to select gender the departments i'm going to select unselect and address i'm going to give andhra and after that i'm going to fill all these contact number and i'm going to select job location as bangalore designation i'm going to select project manager and then i'm going to give the email id bosha@gmail.com all right once i have filled all these details i'm going to click on submit you can see over here this all kind of data has been populated and then what are the action sequence of actions i'm going to do it has been captured into the recording actions all right and then let me stop the recording once you have stopped the recording and then click on finish over here which is available as part of the desktop recorder you can see over here i'm having a finish button click on that once you click on the finish you can see all the sequence of actions like press button what we have done as part of the desktop application that all the click ui element populate and you can see set check boxes select radio button all these form filling actions will be captured over here you can do the same kind of thing data extraction also you can find it out if there is any data is available in the particular windows application you can get all these actions also as part of the desktop recorder also now if you see over here i'm having the enter flow which i have done by using desktop recorder now let's see how it will works when i run the flow click on run 
flow execution has been started and you can see over here registration window has been open and you can see it started filling the data you can see the mouse how beautiful it is moving all the details it is starting filling the text boxes it is selecting the job locations it is starting giving the designation email id and then finally it will click on submit button if you see over here once it will click on submit button the registration has been successfully completed these kind of recorded steps we can use for the replay and reuse them as many times as we want i hope you understand how to work with desktop recorder as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day